It was the summer of 97 and I was 13 years old. I was rollerblading from a part of town called Old Cottage Grove. I guess I should start off by saying that the city where this happened was a suburb of St. Paul, Minnesota called Cottage Grove. It was around 9.30 p.m. and I was rollerblading back home from a girlfriend's house with a friend. We were just coming around the bend in the road that went past a farm that I believed at the time was called Green Acres Farm. I'm not exactly sure what it was they did at that farm, but I do know for sure at the time there were always cattle of all different ages and sizes, which brings me to the conclusion that maybe I was just at the right place at the wrong time. As I was rounding the bend in the road to start coming up the hill, I felt a very strong sense of fear. It was like my body was telling me to get the heck out of there. Yet I couldn't figure out why. I can tell you this much though, for the first and only time in my life, I felt like I was no longer at the top of the food chain. Right when I started to pick up the pace to get out of there, is when I heard a sound that came from the fenced-in cattle farm to my left, maybe 15 to 20 yards behind me. It sounded like nails grabbing a pole or fence, and then what sounded like what a dog's paws and claws sound like when walking or running on a tile floor. Except this just sounded like a quick leap on the street's pavement. As I turned around to look, there stood what looked to be a wiry, gray-haired werewolf. It was like time stopped. There was a street light at the time in the woods, maybe five feet behind it. So all I could make out was a silhouette of this monster. It had to be at least seven feet tall with the head of what looked like a German shepherd with huge ears and a huge muzzle. I could see this thing was built like a bodybuilder. It stood bipedal like a man, not like what some folks say with these things having dog-like limbs. It had long, slim hands with black nails on its fingertips. It had a slim waist, but its upper body was muscular beyond belief. The thing that always stuck with me, besides the point of seeing this thing in the first place, was that his head was turned to the side and snout up in the air. The one thing that really stuck out and was out of place to me was that I could see this thing breathe as if it was winter. But mind you, it was the end of June, almost July. It looked as though it was smelling my scent but that's just what it looked like. I'm not positive on that. Before I knew it, I was yelling to my friend to get the heck out of there and not to look back. But it's almost as though he was in another world because he didn't seem to feel, let alone see what I had just experienced. I'm somewhat of an artist and drew a picture of what I saw, which was a werewolf. Fast forward 17 years later, and I still hadn't told anyone about this encounter. That is until my oldest brother and I were trading stories one summer evening, 
And it just sort of came up as we were talking about Bigfoot. Mind you, my brother's a big believer in this Bigfoot animal. So I said, the heck with it, and started telling him about what had happened to me. Going to the point of pulling out the original drawing I drew of it. To my surprise, he didn't look at me or laugh at me like I was positive he would have. Instead, he started asking me if I had ever heard of the Michigan dog man or seen anything on it, which I replied no. He then pulled up an image on the internet of a sketch that an eyewitness had drawn, and I swear to you, it sent shivers down my spine because it not only looked like my drawing, it looked exactly like the thing I saw that night in the summer of 1997 in Old Cottage Grove, Minnesota. To this day, I still find myself trying to wrap my head around what I saw. I'm 33 years old now, yet still find myself trying to rationalize what I crossed paths with that night. It feels good to get this out there and somewhat off my chest. I hope someone finds something helpful in this experience. And I hope this sort of thing never happens again.